Hey everybody, welcome back to another Beer Weaving Fish. I'm the Big Weave, as most of you know, and this is my sidekick, Buttons. I'm not Buttons. Anyways, we'll get into that a little bit later. Guess what? It's episode 10! I will never use... No, I won't use those fingers again. <laughs> Oh, she will use those fingers, and it is episode 10, so this is going to be an exciting episode. What are we talking about tonight? Well, we got a couple new beers for everybody to... We do. Top secret. We got a couple beers. Zuri. We got some new fish, babies! Yes, we have some new fish. Boom, 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 boom. Um, from our tubs, so we're going to show those later. We're cleaning out tubs. We are cleaning out tubs. Getting it inside. Time it's getting cold as Ohio. Zori got a new fish this week, so we're gonna talk about oh, that. Oh, Finny. Yeah, a little Finny. A little beta fish, beta fish. Don't know what everybody likes to call them, but whatever. Beta, beta. Beta, beta, who cares? Anyways, so stay tuned, and we'll be right back with Beer Weaving Fish. Ten. We are in episode ten. Not doing the fingers ever again. But we're back with two new cool beers. Thanks to you know me. As we talked before, I get a box of beer every other month from different breweries. So this month, our beer we're gonna drink is from. Where is this one from? Fordham Dominion Brewing Company. And I have the Zombie Brown Ale. It's in Dover, Delaware. And it starts back in 1703. I do think I got a little ripped off here. I do have what is a gold star beer, but it's called Gypsy. Lager. Yeah, lager. But it's 5% alcohol where his is, I think. 6.5. But this says Gypsy Lager is a Munich style Hells brewed in the tradition of great German lagers. And the Zombie Brown Ale. A brown ale brewed with just the right amount of honey from Pennsylvania Dutch country. This beer leaves. It a, has a whole bunch more, but. And it should that's leave a. We're ready for a beer, aren't we? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, grab your beverages. Remember to like and subscribe when we get and these And get open. ready for a cold one. We're having one. Perfect pour time. Who's gonna be the winner this time? You guys be the judge and leave a comment. There we go. Perfect pour. I like to get a little bit of, I like to get a little bit of head, but I didn't get much head at all. So, cheers. Ah, oh, they're pretty, even, yours is a lot more browner. Yeah, it is brown. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm, delicious. We need one of those, like, slide tables we can slide them back and forth. And switch. Mine's better. I like mine better. Well, good. I guess we picked the right ones. So, first part of business, I gotta tell a little story. What story are you telling? I'm a lumberjack, guys. Not oh, only no. am I a fish keeper, I am a lumberjack. Alright, babe. So we'll make this quick watch. It's coming towards us! <laughs> oh shit! Well, that tree's gone. All right, so what did you guys think? I'm a lumberjack. Had to, had to scoot away a little bit, but. Um, I've never seen him run so fast. So to use, or to cut down that, huge tree, which was probably about 65 feet in the air. I used um, it was a very small tree with little limbs about 
I used the DeWalt reciprocating saw that Mama If you can me. use a DeWalt reciprocating saw that's only that big, not a big tree. That tree was... But it almost fell on me and I've never seen him you know run what? so fast. Listen here, buttons. Buttons? Buttons. So, in every other video that we've made that we've both been in, I'm the big weave and this has been the little weave. Well, still a little weep. A couple weekends ago, Chelsea's father renamed her. So today is the first episode. This is Buttons. And why do we call you Buttons? Better not push my buttons. Better not push your buttons or you'll pay for it. You know what? When I was Sip wee time. high, I'll take my sip in a second. Wee high, my daddy used to call me Muffy. I'm not sure yet why that nickname even happened, but it was Muffy. I don't like this Buttons bull crap. Well, sip anyways, time. anyways, Buttons, sip time. Mm, I spilled a little on my chin chowder. <laughs> what was that? All right, so the next order of business on Beer, Weave, and Fish episode 10, we're going to talk about the Zerber. Oh, oh we got my. stories about the Zerber. So the Zerber. You know the little one, the little littlest, one. who just reached her last single digit in the single digits. Yeah, she the is. The whole nine years old. She is nine, and she got a new fish named Finn. It's a little Finny. Little Finny's a blue beta or beta. However you want to say it, it's a little crapper. And all of our mommy fish time tanks, that's where he is, up in her room. Yeah, so a few months ago they had a series called it's Mommy been Fish a Time. a little bit longer than yeah, that. Yeah, Anyway, the tank was all set up. We got Finny given to us, and Zuri is more than excited static for Finny did a video with her of course new ring light yes. that she got for her birthday but wait 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 pause no nope. okay she's an upcoming and inspiring youtuber she is and she does she has a personality for it she's hilarious yeah so she's what? gonna be bigger than you no I doubt it oh I I'm a pretty big guy look at the belly Oh, I didn't mean size-wise. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, here's a little clip of the Zerber. Hey guys, welcome back to Dreamweaver Aquatics. Today I would like to update you on my new fish, Finn. Yeah, she's pretty hilarious. She was pretty excited to do that. And she has the little braces now, and she's so cute. Mm, Not really? You don't I don't really her? like the braces, but she's always going to be beautiful and cute. But anyway, so we got Finny. We also, in the last Wait, week, you forgot to explain how much. Okay, so Finny used to be in a little dorm room in a little box size little thing. Oh yeah, but and now your it, sister had her. And yes, my sister had Finny in her dorm room. And now he, Finny's in this big 10 gallon, which seems big to Finny. And Finny's so happy, he just swim, 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 swim. Yeah, so they, happy. They said Finny's really depressed. Finny's yeah. not depressed no, no more. Finny's got live plants. Finny has a whole landscape. Yeah. And Finny swims, swims, swims. Yep. We're happy with Finny. Okay, go All on right, with your next story. So what else have we done? We did a tank for... Oh, we did a tank for my stepmom. The Nancy. And, oh my goodness, has she been blowing me up on my phone about her fish. She's loving them. So we set her up a little nano tank. Uh, I believe it was like... A 10 gallon. 10 gallon, yeah. It's like mine that I have at work, only hers was designed a lot better. 
but it's got LED lights in it oh. that change colors. Yeah, that is. Pretty and we have I'm to pretty her... jealous about that. It is pretty cool. But she's taken several fish from us now, and she's watching them and reporting every day. She has some shell dwellers. She does have some shell dwellers, and she likes. She already named them Shelly. <laughs> Shelly, that's cute. Yes, so. she's named all of her fish, and that's fun. We got to do that with her, and she's loving it. So, so that was definitely fun. relaxing. We love to do that, and she's got it set up in her church office, so all the old timers probably love it too. They I'm get sure. to come in and watch, and yeah, that's exciting. Neat. So we did that, and then. Oh, the big thing that we need to talk about. Uh, the headache. Yeah, the headache we need to talk about. Wait, maybe we're on not the same page, because what's the headache? Bringing all the fish inside. Oh, that's the headache. So, today is Friday night. By Thursday next week, we're supposed to get some real low temperatures. 47 uh, to be exact. 47 at night, and on Thursday it's 70 at during the day so that's not gonna work so we got to get all the rest of the fish in tomorrow what's cool and we're very excited about is one of the fish we've had and we've had them for what two years no it's been a year it's, we've had them for a year we got them I last, think it was a little no, over a year a little over a year but because we got them, we got them before summer. we got them for our shell dwellers we got them before that anyway we've had them We'll argue and not argue and whatever. One to two years we've had these fish and we've been growing them and growing them and growing them. Well, and really, I think it would have been March of 20. <laughs> they're just an African cichlid. Nothing special, not just a shelly. Normal, like Malawi cichlid. Um, we got yellows, we got blues, and we got the blue stripes that go straight down their backs, and we got the blue stripes that go to horizontal, vertical, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> anyway. Oh, buttons. <laughs> anyway, they bred this summer for the first time ever and we were ecstatic, but yet they're outside in a tub. So we're trying to figure out what's the best way to make sure we get them all. We don't, don't want to miss any babies. Anything behind. We have babies and they're growing quite big and then it's all about the tank setup and our fish room and how we're gonna figure all that out because they've all gotten so big and let me tell you taking fish outside it just does them wonders they just grow so quickly so fast and we just live in Ohio I mean we got what a few short months well the end of may because it was late remember the whole disaster yeah. we had so a few we had short june, months june july and august really and now we're mid september we get to actually raise them out there we have lost little to none fish no and i mean they've just gotten so big they've bred and we're so ecstatic about it i the amount of happiness I had when seeing my little yellow fish babies. It was just, it was priceless. <laughs> so we did get our trophies in. Those are like number one priority. Yes. Because of the cost. They're so expensive. But we brought them in. They're not used to the fish tank light. I'll try to see if I can't get a picture or a video of them. They were all out. We've been watching them actually while we've been recording. Well, right now, yeah. When I, if you <laughs> and see they're me going crazy. Up, if you see me looking over here, I'm like, whoa, look at all of them. They can't believe they went from a 100 gallon to a 40 gallon and they are going nuts. Yeah, I'm afraid that we're they're, gonna have to get them a bigger tank. They're kind of ticked off. Yeah, but you'll have that. Anyways, and then we have our guppies to bring in. Oh my goodness, yeah, I don't even. We just posted a video about all the guppies in the tub. There's literally thousands. Like if I can just put my hand down there and pick up like 30 of them, there has to be over a thousand guppies in that tank. And there's layers. Like, I mean, they're in a hundred gallon, gallon and 
it's just layers upon layers upon layers and a fish. Like so many guppies. Guppy, guppy, guppy. The, even deeper you go, there's still guppies. They're not all at the top. There's not enough room at the top for all of them. No. I can't believe how crazy they went this summer. They did go crazy. I'm. We're still hoping on our Placostomus. Yeah, we haven't really dove into that tank real well. That's where all of our bristlenose Placos are. Usually they breed during the summer, but. We I have a lot of top guppies. plants on that tank. Mm -hmm. That we sell and um, yeah, it's covered it pretty good, so we haven't really dove. And if, if you guys haven't done this whole summer tub thing, check out some of our. Well, we have a whole playlist of all of our tubs, so check that out. That's pretty cool. It's one of our favorite things to do in the summer is get the fish outside. We had a few they, few they disasters. Grow. Well, we had a few disasters with leaking tubs and. Oh yes. Yeah, Learn from that. Don't leave them out all winter with water. Hey, in. we got free ones out of it. Though. Yeah, they replaced them. But anyway, so that that's a fun time. Um, but yeah, they just grow so much in the summer. Mm -hmm. And I we feel went like... from non-parents ever to parents, and that was very cool. It was cool. I can't wait to. Show we were so baby. excited when we seen. Those and I, I don't think there's a lot, but. I mean, just to see the little teeny tiny yellow ones and the blue ones, because we breed shell dwellers, and honestly, all the babies look the same. They're like clear with black eyes. <laughs> so it's nice to see a little color. And the, the trophies, I adore the trophies. They belong in like a 200 gallon tank with like 50 of them because they're just amazing fish. But it was a lot of fun this summer. And tomorrow we get to get up and move them all in. Went too quick, but. Way too quick. Yeah. Anything? I think I'll sleep on the couch while you move them in. Well, of course. Sip time. So, anything, ways, I think that's about all we got for episode 10, babe. I think so too. Anything else you want to add? I think, um, final sip time. Final sip time. Grab your, grab your glasses, everybody. Mm. Uh, I was like waiting for you to chuck that one. Of course he did. Anyways, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Beer Weaving Fish or any of our videos at Dreamweaver Dream Aquatics. Dreamweaver Aquatics, high five.